everybody. Today, and what about Dawn, I have an MRE bag made by the military, and we're going to dig into that. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's do this, right? Let's do it. Okay, so Dawn had me come on her channel today to explain the MRE. Um, you don't, you know a little bit what it's about, but you didn't know exactly what the history of it is. Um, well, anyways, the MRE is uh, made for the military. And this one here, um, we actually got from my dad. Now, my dad, he's a, um, I guess you call a prepper. Technically, he has a lot of these uh, put away in case there's a, an emergency. Um, and um, so, yes, we were over there. We were, we were over there taking his um, air fryer, right? And he had a bunch of these. And Don goes, hey, we should do a, a video on what's inside these because, you know. So anyways. I was curious what yeah. one it is. So what these are actually made for is they're made for our military. This is what they use in the field. Um, so if there's a war going on or something, these are what our troops would eat. And today, we're going to open this up and we're going to show you exactly what's in these. Also... Um, we're going to try out what these things taste like. Now, they're probably not the best tasting in the world. But... Today's menu will be in the bag is beef ravioli. And we're going to find out what's in the bag. All right, so this this here is empty. So there's a bag inside a bag, right? Oh, wow. It's a hot beverage bag. Go ahead. No. Now these right here, um, they date all the way back to like uh, World War II and stuff. Originally they were in cans and stuff, and then they progress over the years to these Poly Pro bags. Um, they've been uh, they, in Vietnam. I think it's roughly Vietnam is when they started to um, at the end of Vietnam. I mean, they started going to these Poly Pro bags. Now the ones back in the day, they used to uh, have smoke cigarettes in them and and all kinds of stuff. But it's not like that anymore. Um, yeah, we'll get into what's here. So first of all, the hot beverage bag. Okay, so this, this is a hot. Like a beverage baby. Yes, it's just oh, it just shows you on how much to put the water, you know, how much water to put in. So anyways, you got a hot beverage bag, right? Then you got the brown spoon. Well, you got to have brown. It's the military. Army military spoon. <laughs> so you got a, a brown spoon, huh? You got a little package of pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. Okay, so we'll put that up right here. Pepper sauce. And you got. Beverage Base Powder Tropical Punch. Oh, I guess it's a drink. Yeah, I think it's a powder you put in some water. We'll have to figure that out. The directions are right on the front of all these, I noticed. A cheese spread. Kind of like a cheese. Cheese, uh, yeah. For your crackers. There must be crackers in here then. Cranberries. Osmus. I'm not sure how to say that word. Osmetic. So anyways, these Osmetic. are just cranberries. I think you add water to them and they come back to life. We got cranberries. Oh wow, and you got wheat snack bread. So a bread. That's that is. cool. This is probably what you put that cheese spread on. It's probably what you put that cheese corn spread on. Corn nuggets. Toasted corn kernels. I am that might be cereal. Toasted corn kernels. Yeah. Toasted corn kernels. Okay. okay. Beef really only in a meat sauce in a box. I don't know if I should hold up this way or that way. Oh. Really cool. Yeah, so okay, this would be the, the, the beef ravioli. That that there I think is the bag that you stick it in and has a chemical reaction or something. Another bag. It's just, yeah, that's what this is. So it'll tell you like it has a canteen and all that. It'll tell you exactly how to do that. Well, that's cool. Oh, oh yeah, now that's the um, another pack. It's got a bunch of little stuff in it. Oh, okay. This is soap, I think. Soap? It's not soap. Oh, it's toilet paper. Toilet paper or napkins. It's, yes. Yeah, toilet paper and napkins in it. It would be napkins, I'm guessing. Yes, a little bit of. Okay. Some kind of pills or chiclet gum. It's just gum. <laughs> pills. They're not giving you pills. Yeah, Creamer. gum. Gum for after you eat all this, you, you're gonna need gum, right? Creamer for non dairy, dry coffee, or tea. Yep, that's for your. That would be for like your cereal, maybe. Like you put that into your corn yeah. nuggets or something, or maybe. I don't know. Something like that. And a moist towelette. 
Yeah, you know, wash yourself after your meal. Of course, you gotta have Splenda, like a sugar for your coffee or. Yeah. Okay. A little black and Idolized salt. A little bit of salt. And Iodized salt, yes. Coffee instant freeze dried. Freeze coffee. dried coffee. Oh, so coffee, yeah. You know, That's a lot of stuff in one well, little yeah. package pouch. Wow. And, yeah, they gotta make sure that the, the, the troops are fed very well. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try some of this stuff out, aren't we? Yeah. It's gonna be so interesting. So to go over it again, this is the uh, package that it come in. We got a hot beverage bag, a uh, spoon. We got some hot pepper sauce. We got ourselves a beverage base powder, tropical punch. So we got some punch. We got uh, cheese spread, corn nuggets, which we'll get into that shortly. Um, either it's a cereal or a snack. Um, wheat snack bread, which I'm guessing goes with the cheese spread. We also have some cranberries over here. Um, of course, we have the uh, main meal, which is beef ravioli and meat sauce. Um, it came with a, um, looks like toilet paper or a napkin of some sort, a towelette, um, Splenda, sugar, some gum, iodized salt. Um, we also have some instant um, coffee. And we have creamer for that coffee. And this here, I believe, is the bag that you'll actually heat up your ravioli in. But this is everything that came in the MRE. We're going to start off with the beverage based powder tropical punch. Directions for use add a half canteen cup of 12 ounces of water to the contents and stir. Allow, allow water to chemically purify to stand 30 minutes before adding the beverage powder. So technically, what's going on here is we don't have a canteen. No. <laughs> and we don't need a lot of water stand because we know our water is good, right? right. This is most, mostly for the infield part. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh, let's do this, right? I'm going to use a scissor. Yeah, so out in the field, it would be a little bit harder to use these meals. But I imagine our troops are actually uh, quite used to using these. But um, go ahead and let's, let's try this tropical fruit punch here. So she's going to pour it. It's red powder. It's like, okay, so it's like a red cherry, whatever, fruit punch powder. It smells, it smells pretty good. Okay, so we're going to have ourselves some, um, probably want to take your um, military spoon that's over here, right? Yeah. I'll we're going to try to do this like like the way you would do in the field. Now, I know we have some modern <laughs> comforts here, right? Yeah. But um, it, it's going to be what it is. The military brown spoon. <laughs> military brown spoon, huh? Okay, well, mix that up. It smells good. I can smell it all the way from here. Mm. I tore the top off the bag, and now I'm going to place the pouch of ravioli into the bag, and then we'll do that. Is it going to be after the heater pouch? Or? I just think it's anywhere, pretty much. No, but I mean, it's on top it, or bottom. It doesn't matter. It wants to go on the bottom. So. Yep. Then you pour the water in, but do not go over that line. No, I'm going to pour the water in up to this line. Oh, you can feel it um heating up. Oh. See that? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you can actually hear it heating up. It's actually cooking it right now. While our, our beef ravioli is cooking, now I'm going to get into the wheat snack bread. All right. And we got some cranberries to go along with it. Yep, we got some cheese spread over here, right? And some cheese spread. Cheese spread. All right. So we got a little modern convenience here, scissors. What's that? Oh wow, it looks pretty good. Looks almost like a kabata bun. Yeah. And we'll put that on a plate real quick here and Oh, it's kinda like a <laughs> It looks like a piece of bread. Yeah. That's funny. We got some cheese spread. We can probably take some cheese spread and put it on top, right? A bag of ravioli. Right. So it did heat up, but it didn't heat up to the temperature I thought it would. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought it would be like a lot warmer. You're gonna dump all that over all over the table. 
Here, just do this. You don't need that no more. So we're gonna get into the ravioli. Um, also, we got the bread, and we got like the cheese, cheese sauce. and everything else. Okay, so we'll cut that open. So the first thing I noticed is that it smells like ravioli, like the you know Chef Boyardee right off the bat. Looks like it. We'll have to get I'm another. Still oh, you got trying to dig it out. Here, the best thing to do it is to do it in the military. Let's go. Just squeeze it out. Okay, so this is what it this is what it looks like. Um, like I said, it didn't come out of the the thing super super warm. You want to try this? Yes. Okay. We're gonna try the beef ravioli. It's okay. I mean, I wouldn't say like it's out of this world or nothing, but what do you think? It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, it's got flavor like a sausage ball or something. Like a yeah. distinctive flavor of like, I think it tastes better than a beef can of ravioli. <laughs> we also got this um, fruit punch that we made earlier. I'm gonna try it first here, right? What do you think with that? It's not bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> you lie. No, I'm not. It's a fruit punch. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's not that it's bad not at all. Bad. I can't wait to dig into the bread. Yeah. At this moment, I'm gonna use the salt because. I think that the ravioli needs salt. I don't know. I need a little bit. It's just, um, it's kind of, it, it's kind of, um, I want to say bland. It's kind of bland, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Ravioli is kind of bland. We, I think we need our bread with it. Let's, yeah. Let's try that cheese spread on that bread. <laughs> I'm gonna take this bread. I'm just gonna tear it right down the center. It's a, it's definitely wheat bread. I'm gonna put cheese on my bread because I don't see where else you can use the cheese with, other than the bread, right? It looks like like cheese with. It looks like the cheese that you get like those like. I don't know. You want it like a knife? The military, you just kind of squeeze it out of the package. Yep, and just eat it. Here. Yeah. You gotta play with it, I guess. Now the cheese has got a weird um, taste, a weird, a weird like smell to it. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a cheese was. No, try. I tried the bread. Now I'm gonna try the cheese with the bread. Now this bread is um, probably year, years old. Um, MREs are good for like ten plus years. Um, up to, I mean, I think it's up to 20 years. It tastes like shells and cheese. <laughs> it's not bad. It, it's actually not bad. The cheese is not bad. The bread's, it's, um, it's, it's not the best, but it's okay. Not bad. Cheese, please. Yeah, the cheese is good. The cheese is good. Um, raviolis, I, I would say, it, it's okay, it's okay, I, it, you know, I, if I, if there was a can of Chef Boyardee and that, I'd go for the, the can of Chef Boyardee, but it wasn't bad, um, I mean, seeing it, the shelf life on this stuff is like, you know, lasts for many, many years, you know, but when you're in an emergency situation, mm -hmm. This will be like heaven. You know what I'm saying? This will all taste like heaven. Here's to the cheesy bread. <laughs> now we're gonna try the corn nuggets. Corn nuggets. Tear them corn nuggets up. And these these cranberries, right? Yeah. We're gonna try the cranberries. I'm guessing this might be cereal, I'm not really for sure. Oh wow. It looks like um corn pops. Corn pops or something. They're really small. Tiny. Small things of corn pops. Should I put it on like a plate to show them? Or? It's not real big. 
So these right here are pretty much just your snack, your dessert. Um, so yes. I'm guessing that's cereal. Yeah, so it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see in there. Ma, I can get a plate. Or... But um, it's just kind of like a corn nugget snack. Something like sweet and crunchy to chomp on in the woods. And one thing I noticed about a lot of these, they have high calorie contents and everything. And that's probably because of survival and for, yeah, so technically it's just toasted corn kernels. It's salty, not sugary. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, you know what I mean? But it's not bad. But here, here's, um, these here are the cranberries, and um, I'm guessing they're just gonna be like cranberries. Here, you want some? Fry, um, it, it's like a dried cranberry. Dried cranberries. And that's all it is, it's dried. Not bad. Those are actually pretty good. We're not gonna try the coffee because Dawn and I, we're not coffee drinkers. Well, at least instant coffee drinkers. But I have heard good things about it. I have some friends that are in the military and they actually say good things about the instant coffee. Um, mm -hmm. It's that's something they actually look forward to, um, especially if you're in the field. And um, so yeah, but we're not gonna try that. But um, yeah, so we did everything. Um, we, didn't try, we didn't try the pepper sauce. It's pretty much um, Tabasco peppers. Um, we didn't try that. Um, we might um, try that on something else, but today, I don't know. I mean, peppers, what, what would we put this on? I guess we could have put it on the ravioli, right? Mm -hmm. We could have put it on the ravioli. Yeah. So we didn't try the pepper sauce. We didn't try the coffee. Um, and um, I think we could try the gum, the gum, right? We could try the gum. And there's two of them in there. It's just perfect for uh, Dawn and I, right? Mm -hmm. So here, here's, they're like little chiclets, right? You ever seen those little chiclets? Yeah, I'm guessing it's kind of like, a, it's, um, gonna, it's, it's gonna be like a, a minty, I bet you it's gonna be like a minty flavor. I like a chicken. Mine's cinnamon. Oh wow. It's a cinnamon flavor. It is cinnamony. Oh. So yeah, and we had a mo the moisted palette. And of course, you could use this as toilet paper, I think, too. Or a napkin. Or a napkin. But I'm pretty pretty sure this is this is like toilet paper, guys. <laughs> well, if you eat it, you gotta it's gotta, you know what I'm saying? So um, well that's really cool. So Dawn, what did you think about I like the it. MRE? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the beverage bag. I guess you put the hot water in. It, it pretty much has lines. So I found this to be really interesting. I did too. Um, yeah. The MRE bag. MRE. There's a lot of things in there too. Meals ready to eat. Yes. Yeah. So this is what you're doing if you're in the army or... Um, um, military yeah or... and they also use these in like Maybe. uh relief efforts so like if you have a um you know an area that they can airdrop these to like people that might be starving um they use almost the same things it it says what it says it is it's a meal ready to eat what did you think about the different items what i thought it? it was interesting to to learn what they put in a meal ready to eat bag when you're on the field yeah. I can't believe all the stuff in that one pouch. Yeah. It's really interesting to know and learn. Yeah. Wow, so that's a meal ready to eat. My favorite part of the whole thing um, was, believe it or not, the cheese. The cheese, I thought the cheese was good. It, it was like a real cheese spread. Um, ravioli uh, was good, but, you know, I don't know. It, it, it just wasn't like Chuck Larity, but it was still good. I'll tell you what, if you're in an emergency situation, that ravioli is going to taste really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I would then say the cranberries were my favorite. I wasn't liking the corn nuggets. I wasn't liking what anything. were you thinking? So, what were you thinking about the whole thing? My favorite part is um, probably going to be the cranberries. The ravioli was pretty good. I like the bread. The wheat bread wasn't bad. No. And the cheese sauce was interesting to put on your bread. Thank you everybody for watching our MRE bag. And if you like this vlog, then give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. And um, definitely subscribe because I have an MRE here that is 30 years old. And we're going to do that one pretty soon. 
Awesome. It might, it might even be 35. Close to 40. It's called Chicken on a Cake. You guys gotta stay tuned for that, right? Mm hmm. That's gonna be fun. And I guess until next time, right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.